Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, and I have just finished uh, making a series of lessons on Udemy about getting started in scholarship physics. This is a series of 10 lessons. Uh, the aim of the course is to help you with these 10 lessons, including videos, activities, and it's to aim to scaffold students up to being able to answer scholarship questions themselves. A lot of people, when they start, uh, trying to study or wondering what to do to study for scholarship. They don't know what study looks like. They don't know what they need to know beyond level three. This video is all about that, getting started, and it will leave you at a place where you can go away and finish studying by yourself and be really prepared for that exam. Um, I've based it on one lesson a week um, for 10 weeks. So there's the 10 lessons. That's how I teach my students. Um, it can be all done at once if you're doing it independently. You can just work over it over a couple of days at your own time. But if you're a teacher, maybe you want, want to um, take away the information and teach it once a week. Um, so it's obviously useful at you students who are aiming to attempt a scholarship physics in New Zealand uh, or any teachers who want some guidance on how to teach a scholarship model. So you can use the lessons, you can download the resources and make your own booklet for your um, students. So the 10 lessons, uh, we introduce um, myself and, and the course, uh, give you some um, questions to get started with. I'll give you some very basic uh, level three questions that I've rewritten in the style of scholarship questions. We go over the curriculum, we, we practice some more questions, and as we're doing this, we scaffold and closer and closer to answering your first scholarship question. At, at uh, lesson four, we do answer that first scholarship question. Um, we get through some dimensional analysis, how to understand and handle new physics ideas when you meet them in scholarship questions, the math skills that you need, coordinate systems and components, um, how to deal with explanation type questions, and finally, we sum it up in the finale. So each section has a lecture, uh, has examples that I work through, and then it has problems for students to work through. And, and where I think it's appropriate, I've made videos of hints um, for those problems as well for the students. So the course is on Udemy. I've priced it at the lowest point that they allow me to, to price it at. Um, and the link is in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. The first lecture of it, I've put on YouTube as well. So you can see um, before, if, before you commit to to buying the course if you want to do it or not and it has the um, the first lecture fully there with the examples and um, the first questions plus answers for that first lecture so you can go through it work through it on, on YouTube that first lecture see if you want to commit to doing this see if it's uh, at the right level for you um, before you fully commit to it so I'm looking forward to um, having you along hopefully we'll see you soon